This is a two-axis gimbal. This is just made out of some PVC pipe and some nails. It's only a prototype for a device that I'm building called a harmonograph, which is fairly complicated. And the first challenge that I have to overcome is how to build a gimbal that can support a lot of weight. In a later video, I'll probably address how to build a wooden gimbal. But for this video, I really just want to introduce the concept and kind of explain or rather define just what a gimbal is. Essentially what a gimbal is is just a device that allows an object to rotate about an axis. In this example the axis is just this wire. A really common example of a single axis gimbal is this gyroscope. If you pretend that the center part is the object you can see that the rest of it is free to rotate around a single axis. This pendulum works using a single axis gimbal. I haven't decided if this is the style of gimbal that I'm going to use in my harmonograph because I haven't decided how many pendulums I'm going to use. The single axis restricts its motion to a side to side motion and doesn't allow any front and back motion at all. The result is a very linear motion. When I put the string up against these trammel points, we can clearly see what the axis is that the object is rotating around. Before we look at a double axis gimbal, let's consider this universal joint. It functions very much like a gimbal, but I don't think it qualifies because its range of motion is limited. The way a universal joint is constructed, it has perpendicular axes of rotation. One axis allows it to move this way, and the other allows it to move this way. These two axes of rotation operate in conjunction with one another to give the pendulum a freedom of motion that makes up nearly half of a sphere. It's not a complete half of a sphere because the apparatus itself interferes right here. For the purposes of constructing a harmonograph, I need to have a plane up on top that mimics the motion of the pendulum underneath. But in order for me to capture the motion of the pendulum and transfer it up to the top, like in the case of a harmonograph, a universal joint just won't do. And that's why I have to use a gimbal. So now let's take a look at a pendulum using a two-axis gimbal. Now the pendulum is free to rotate around two axes simultaneously. But unlike the universal joint, the axle of the object sticks all the way up through the top of the gimbal. Because of this, the gimbal allows me to put a drawing table on the top. The harmonograph that I would like to build would use two compound gimbals like this. 
the machine that we just saw running was really just a prototype study for building that harmonograph. It obviously only used one of these compound gimbals, but when you use two, the drawings are much more complicated and much more beautiful. But later I will be making a wooden gimbal that uses bearings that will help reduce the amount of friction on the gimbal. And the friction is ultimately what causes the decay in the elliptical orbit that we saw. So wish me luck and I'll try to build a nice harmonograph and show you later. Thanks a lot for watching.